Hi Steady Mouse users. In this video, we'll take a quick look at how to install Steady Mouse and get up and running for the very first time after your purchase. Um, as you can see here, I have the Chrome browser open and uh, this is my email. And uh, here you can see I've received an email with uh, a receipt for the purchase. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here you can see the email uh, contains um, a view content button that can be used to download the software as well as um, a license key that you'll need to activate the software um, and then uh, um, also a link to the another link to the downloads page here um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this downloads link and you'll see that it opens this uh, installation access page um, on this page you're going to want to select the license type uh, that you purchased. If you bought the more expensive all versions license, that's this one, and uh, the cheaper one is here. So pick the license. Um, it should match roughly the title of your email. Um, and then the next thing you need is your license key. So I'm going to hop over to the email again and um, the easiest way to do this is to just select it and right click and say copy. So um, you can type it in manually but I find it easier just to copy it and then uh, we go back to the downloads page and right click and say paste. Uh, now when you do this uh, click submit and it'll take you to the steady mouse downloads page. Um, so on here you can see uh, you know a handful of things like how many times your license has been used um, but uh, the main thing of importance is this download button here. Uh, go ahead and click on it and you'll see in the lower left corner uh, it has begun downloading the software to the computer. Um, in the Chrome browser, this appears in the lower left. I believe in Firefox, it is in the upper right. But the main thing is once it finishes downloading, uh, you just have to click on it to launch the installation of Steady Mouse. So I'm going to do that now. And it asks, uh, do you want to allow the software to run? Um, and so you say yes. Uh, select your language and uh, I'm going to minimize the browser while we do this so we can just focus on the installation itself. So most of installing is just clicking next, uh, accept the agreement, next. Um, I'm going to have it create a desktop icon because that's nice. You can double click it to open the steady mouse settings and then having steady mouse automatically start with the computer is uh, pretty convenient. Click next and then install. Now it's installing Steady Mouse for the first time. Uh, you can see this little icon was created over here and you can double click that anytime you need to run Steady Mouse as well as um, if you need to open the settings. Um, so you have the option to view the readme. I'm going to uncheck that and um, I'll let the installer launch Steady Mouse for me. So we'll leave that alone. Click finish. And boom, Steady Mouse is running. Uh, the very first time, it'll ask you a few questions. Um, here, you can select your language. And we'll go with English. And now, one last hassle. Um, once per computer, you have to activate the software. And uh, to do this, you enter your key right here. So I'm going to go back to the email again and um, copy this email, this key once more, or you can type it in. And then uh, you just come back here, right click, paste, and then click activate. And this is a one-time thing per computer, so you should not have to do it again on a PC that you have unless uh, for some reason you completely uninstall or decide to change uh, your license. Um, also, uh, before we continue, keep this email around. Um, you can uh, always come back here anytime in the future uh, say you get a new computer and you have to install fresh, you can you can dig up this email in your inbox and you can follow these same instructions and you can install again in the future. So um, again, the very first time Steady Mouse runs, it asks you uh, a couple important questions. We just selected the language, we activated, and now it's going to ask um, how you want to turn Steady Mouse on and off. Uh, Steady Mouse has a toggle key where all of its features will turn on and off together with the press of that key. That's e that makes it easy, so if you need to um, disable Steady Mouse temporarily, uh, you just tap that key and it's off, okay? Um, so 
look over the options. Um, you know, you'll want to make sure that you have a key that's actually on your keyboard. Uh, some laptops don't have an unlock key, for instance. Um, so you could do, say, left control and left shift. Um, so I'll go ahead and select that. Left control and left shift, press together. We'll toggle steady mouse on and off. Say OK. And then uh, there's just some uh, introduction, welcome. You can read that if you like. It has some tips and tricks. And boom, uh, steady mouse is running for the very first time. And uh, you, know, you can see all the options laid out before you. The user manual has quite a bit uh, of detail on how to use each of these. And there's some helpful text to describe um, each feature. And you can also click on some of these various help uh, icons in order to get um, some more details. Uh, so uh, first, um, so we selected uh, our toggle key. And I'm going to press it now uh, just to show you how it turns Steady Mouse off. So you can see Steady Mouse disabled. If I press it again, Steady Mouse re-enables. Also, uh, see I'm done changing things here, and I click OK. And now Steady Mouse is minimized. It's hidden away. And you can see it's anti-tremor filtering is active. But say I need to get back to those settings so I can make an adjustment. You have the ability to either double-click the desktop icon, and that will open it. Or you can also hold down your toggle key. So I'll do that now. Hold it down for like three seconds and then let go. And boom, the uh, settings window is back open. So that makes it fairly easy to make adjustments and hop over here uh, and get things up and running uh, to get you started. And so you can adjust the filter strength. You can adjust the speed. Um, there's a whole tutorial on this in the user manual uh, to get it just right for you. And um, in any event, I hope you have fun exploring and Godspeed.